Hello everyone, hello beautiful people all over this world. Today I'm featuring a bush called Jack in the Bush. Or Jack in the Bush. Some people call it Christmas bush. Others call it Siam weed. Also called bitter bush. Depends on which island that's how they name the bush. In Jamaica, we call it Jack in a bush. Or Jack in the bush. This is the plant. Here it is. Jack in a bush. Jack in the bush. This plant got its name from a famous um, slave by the name of Three Finger Jack, that famous slave back in the days. So that's how they usually like to use this plant, Three Finger Jack, for its medicinal uses. So that's how this name comes about in Jamaica Jack in a bush, or Jack in the bush. Jack in the bush is very good when it comes to cold, anything to do with the COLD, the common cold, things like flu, cough. Some rural folks use the leaves, the floral part of Jack in the bush to help with their diabetes. Like the rural village, like country village people, those folklore people have been using it for hundreds of years. People usually use it also like when it when they get like cut wounds, they usually crush the leaves, as rub the leaves, squeeze it like the juicy part, and apply it to the wound, the cut, and then bandage it. Therefore, it heal within a few days. Also, they always use to um, inhale like the leaves to to help with their coughs. Like crush the leaf and inhale it, smell it. That way it helps to um, control their coughs. It also assists like with some skin conditions like some people who have eczema. They usually use it to also in the country areas to help with their skin conditions. Also rural folks usually also use like the coconut milk and the shoot part. Like the shoot part, like this part up here. This part. This shoot up here, so coconut milk and the shoot. Usually use it to help with um, children who has bronchitis. Bronchitic, like in the form of respiratory condition, flu, cold. Three Finger Jack was a famous guy who usually hung around in this era, like close to where I live. Three Finger Jack. You have also Kojo's. Kojo Hills is just a couple miles away from where I am. Famous Kojo. He did sign the peace treaty with the Maroons. Those guys usually use like Jack in the bush. Big up to all the people up there in Kojo's Hill. Back pastor Joe's here. Nigel Martin, big up from up um, Kojo's Hill. You always been watching my videos, son. Almost all Caribbean people use like Jack in the bush on the two they call they call it different names in their islands. We call it Jack in the bush in Jamaica. Jack in the bush, Jack in the bush. And we use green or dried. Most people prefer to use it kind of quail or dried. And everything you're doing is moderation. And the expert is going to say it's best to consult your doctor before you use any form of herbal plant. That's what the expert will tell you. And sometimes if you're using certain prescriptions, it's best to consult with your doctor first before taking certain herbal remedy. 
this plant was really three fingers jack favorite that's why they have to call it jack in the bush three finger jack most people who do history like West Indian history supposed to heard about that guy three finger jack they did cut off two of his fingers he used to hang around here in these hills like I'm pointing towards south three finger jack and chief kojo usually patrol these areas in the, those days you know way back I think in the year like sometime around seven, in the 1700s they usually visit these areas frequently British couldn't find them to capture them you know so they have to sign the peace treaty Usually frequent these areas jack in the bush. That's my bird making those sounds. Welcome to Koja Country Lifestyle. Deep rural Jamaica. Jack in the bush, see the floral, the spark gonna floral, soon be bloom by December, so it's gonna bloom in December, some white floral, white looking flowers, that's Jack in the bush, it grows to a height of about 3 meters, this is natural organic, no chemical applied. Jack in the bush, chemical free. When it comes to cold, that's the top number one health benefits. And if thing to deal with cold, flu, fever. This is organic rosemary, my people. Organic rosemary. Immaculate sunshine here in Jamaica. Very strong, powerful sunshine here today in Jamaica. Basically, this plant is grown all over Jamaica. Most, yeah, most, most parishes, I think you will find, like Jack in the Bush. People brought it, you know, from like in our region and take it to their parish. Got three finger jack, those guys usually roam all out. So they usually carry like the seeds. So it gets to germinate in various other areas. So again, take a careful look at the leaves. If you do not know um, Jack in the Bush stay, look. Look at the leaves. Take a good look. See the stalks. Look how the stalk look. That's Jack in the Bush. Jack in the Bush. I 
I say thanks everyone for watching. Hope you have learned something new today. Please go ahead and like and share and leave a comment. The best way to boil this tea is like you, you when the water boil up, you put it into steam for about 15 minutes. You can drink it without sugar. Or if you want to add, some people want might add milk in it or a little sugar, it's up to you. Or you can just drink it the same way without sugar. When it's cool, remember it can be drink dried or you can quail the leaves. And organic is always the best. Natural and no chemical, no spray, no insecticides. That's the best one. And it depends on when it reap, the time when it reap is important also. And the geographical condition where it is grown also plays a vital role. Again, thanks everyone for watching.